Hello and welcome to today's video on uh, how to enable Hyper-V role installation on Windows Server 2012 R2 inside VMW Workstation. If you ever try to install Windows Server 2012 R2 on uh, VMW Workstation and enable the Hyper-V role, you would have probably encountered with the error Hyper-V cannot be installed, a hypervisor is already running. So in this video demonstration, we have uh, created a virtual machine named 2K12R2-Evel on VMV Workstation and then let's try to install the role of Hyper-V on this VM. So to do that just open so Manager and on a dashboard just click on Add Roles and Features. On Before you begin page click on Next. On Installation Type select Role Based and Feature Based Installation and then click on Next. We are going to install the Hyper-V role on this local computer. That's why I'm going to select the 2 k 12 r 2 evel and click on Next. And here we have a Hyper-V role selection. Just select Hyper-V, it will ask to add features that are required by Hyper-V. So click on add features and now as you are seeing there is an error, it is saying Hyper-V cannot be installed, a hypervisor is already running. Click on OK and click on cancel. So to install Hyper-V role on the virtual machine running on a VMware workstation successfully, we have to modify the .vmx file of that particular machine. To modify the VMX file, first of all we have to shut down this computer and uh, let's power off this VM. So just shut down this guest machine. Okay, shut down. So virtual machine configuration or we can say .vmx is the initial configuration file which stores all the selected settings from the new virtual machine wizard. So this is the file of uh, our virtual machine. So you can also check the location of the uh, VM, so where you store your uh, working directory of your virtual machine. And in my case, it is L slash VM slash 2 k 12 r 2 iphone evel Okay, and already I opened the location. This is our virtual machine configuration file. Uh, let's open this file in uh, by using Notepad. Okay, and at the end of this file, you have to type certain entries. Now as you are seeing, uh, I add these uh, three lines at the end of this configuration file. Now what is the meaning of uh, these three lines? Let's understand. Hypervisor.cpuid.v0 is equal to false. These options tricks the Windows Server 2012 R2 into thinking it's not running on the virtualized instance. Second entry, mc.enable is equal to true. These options enables the machine check exception MC, which enables the Windows Server 2012 R2 VM to report that CPU hardware is used. VHV.enable is equal to true that these options enable nested virtualization. So now save this file. So click on files and click on save this file to save this modification. And this line will modify the settings and enable the hypervisor for this virtual machine. The next thing is uh, that uh, you are supporting hypervisor in your VMware processor settings. So select the processor. So to do that just click on uh, edit virtual machine settings. And uh, then select processors. And under the virtualization engine, check the virtualize Intel VTX, EPT or AMD V RVI. Also check virtualize CPU performance counters. Click on OK. And now let's restart the machine and then we'll try to install the uh, Hyper-V rule on this VM. Let's log into the system. So once you log into your server, then try to install the Hyper-V rule. It would be installed without an issue. So let's open the server manager and on server manager dashboard, click on add roles and features. And before you begin page, click on next. On select installation type, select role base or feature based installation and then click on next. On select destination server, select the uh, server and in my case it's a local server 2 k 12 r 2 iphone evel Then click on next. Under uh, select server role, select Hyper-V. And it will ask you to add certain features that are required by Hyper-V. So click on add features to add that features. And this time you can uh, install the Hyper-V without any issue. In this demonstration, I'm not going to install the Hyper-V rule uh, because already I created a one uh, video on how to install Hyper-V on Windows Server 2012 R2. So you can refer that video 
to see the process of installing a Hypo-V rule on Windows Server 2012 R2. So that's it for this demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.